know that Almanzo has some wheat hidden in the cabin. Carolyn has nothing left to make anything for us except six potatoes. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to buy me some of that wheat. Now that I got that pail full of wheat, how much you want for it? How'd you know it was there? Well, last time I was here, I noticed the inside of the walls didn't quite match the outside, and I noticed that that little plug in the knot hole there, and I figured you might have some wheat you've been storing up there. So now the only question is, how much are you going to charge me for it? Okay, a quarter. Sounds sounds reasonable. Hey, you want to have some pancakes with us? Well, you guys sure have a lot of good food over here. I think I would like a pancake, but I got to get back to the cabin soon with that blizzard coming. Okay. Miss Jingles, would you like some syrup? Uh, yeah, certainly. You guys have some pretty good pancakes here. I've heard all about them. Get them over there. So I thought about going for that wheat 20 miles southeast of town. Really? With the train stopped and I thought about running for that uh, wheat that guy grew 20 miles south of here. You can't, you have a family. Well, I know, that's why I didn't do it. And then with the storm coming in, who knows when I'd be able to get back. Yep, the storm's too dangerous. Well, I'm finished up one of these pancakes and I better get back there before I can't even make it back to the cabin. He's right, the town really is starving. Maybe I shouldn't go and get some so they don't pick for my seed wheat.